Rust is a game filled with choices. It's up to you as the player to decide which road to take, which base to raid, which player to shoot. The future of your game is decided by how you decide to play. Today we'll be looking at one of the many choices out there, the weapon flashlight. Now I currently have 1400 hours in Rust, so I'm not the most experienced player out there. This analysis is based purely on my experience and observations. That being said, I've had many experiences that helped me form my opinion on this subject. The weapon flashlight is an attachment you can add to most weapons in the game. It allows you to light the way in front of you and is visible to other players as well. By default, the use of this attachment is binded to the F key. When you have a weapon with this attachment equipped, that button will toggle the light. There is a trend, however, where many players will bind the flashlight to their right mouse button, meaning that when they aim down their sights, the flashlight will turn on. This can be seen being used by popular YouTubers and streamers such as HJune. Both of these methods are prevalent among high-level players, however. So the question becomes, which option is better? Let's start off with some pros and cons. On the pro side, this bind can simplify things. You don't have to remember to toggle your flashlight as it's done automatically. This bind also allows for perfect timing. The flashlight is toggled instantly, allowing for quick utilization. Another positive is that you may forget you have your flashlight equipped at some points, such as during the day. The flashlight will turn on even if you forget it even exists, allowing you to blind your enemies without even thinking about it. Now those pros can definitely be useful, but let's go through the cons. Now, here are my reasons why I personally stay with the bind to F. Having the light bound to your aim doesn't allow for easy stealth in a time-sensitive situation, such as during a fight or setting a trap. Now you can easily negate this by unequipping the flashlight, but that brings me to the most important con of all, in my opinion. There are many instances where you will need to take off the flashlight, which brings many more complications to your game. If you need to equip the flashlight again, it will make a noise which can alert other players to your position. As well as this, it also takes up space in your inventory when unequipped. While you can simply equip the flashlight if necessary, even incredibly experienced players make mistakes in loot management when looting quickly, such as during a fight. You can often end up squandering your capacity by making simple mistakes in your haste. This bind also brings up another issue when looting. While fast looting, your light shrubs each time you right click an item, which can end up bringing unwanted attention to your area. So there are clearly many arguments on both sides, but which option should you choose? Well, Rust is a game of possibility and there are many different situations you may find yourself in. I personally believe that the cons outweigh the pros in this instance, and that's why I choose to stick with binding my flashlight to an independent key and simply timing it with aiming. Yes, I do have to remember to toggle it, but I prefer to do that over going through the hassle of unequipping and re-equipping the attachment when needed. But think about yourself and how you play Rust. What situations are you more likely to face and which option better suits you? I hope that this video gave you some information to help you form your own opinion, and I hope that that you enjoyed it in the process. I'm Any Spam, thanks for watching.